This isn't a high-end dresser. It's just made of pine. It's fairly cheaply built, if I'm honest. But it's a good solid bit of furniture and it's useful. One of our neighbours was getting rid of it. I needed some garage storage at the time. So that's what it was for a while, which is where most of the dirt on this is from. The other issue, chalk paint, it just holds on to dirt. I hate chalk paint. I'm going to strip all this finish off, see what's hiding underneath. There might be a reason it's been painted. And see if we can return this to looking like a fairly smart pine dresser. And we're going to be using this in the house, well, as we are at the moment, as storage. We just want it to look nicer than it does. Let's get the sander out and see what we find. Got my lovely orange overalls today. Keep myself nice and clean. And we're outside, so I don't need to worry about masks and that sort of thing so much. Didn't take long to find out why this has been painted. You can see on here there's these dark patches. This is all probably water staining. I have a couple of options here. I can probably sand through this because this is solid wood. So just the process of sanding so far has made these start to disappear. And the other option is oxalic acid, which I've not used, but I have seen lots of other people use, which would bleach all of this out. The pine itself, it's not very yellow, which is nice. It's quite a pale pine, so that should stain up quite nicely. Okay, yeah, we can see there's some dark spots on here where the wood's got marked. This must be why it was painted. Fairly normal. One thing I can't get to is this little crevice here, so I'm going to have to take this backboard off. We are keeping it. It doesn't seem to be glued on. It seems to be, you know, got some movement. There's just three of these screws, so I'll pop those out and that will make cleaning this up a little bit easier. The inside of the drawers are fine. There's not really anything needed in here. It's just gardening stuff in this one. Um, so I'm not really going to do anything inside because nothing is needed.
I'll pop the drawers out so that I can do the sides and the base. And um, yeah, I accidentally pulled the filter off the sander and uh, probably just as well I did, it was completely backed. But that's why you use dust extraction, work outdoors, wear masks, take precautions, whatever they are. You don't want to be breathing all that in. looking a little bit darker at the moment. This is closer to what the final finish will be because I've just wiped everything down just with water. I have some more hand sanding to go so I'm not worried about raising the grain. Overall it's in pretty good condition. There's a few little knocks and dings. There's a bad one there but honestly that's not going to bother us. This is just a storage chest, it's not something that we need to be super pretty. Being pine it's quite soft, so it's very easy to damage. It's got potential. It's been some time since I last did any work on this. I got a bit sidetracked, as happens. But we need to deal with the stains on the top. I'll just put this right in the way. You can see there's some water staining on here, and there's these dark stains, I don't know what they are, they were underneath the paint. They might be water stains. If they are, then we should be able to remove them with this stuff, oxalic acid. Everybody talks about it that does the restoring videos, and you get it in various forms, premixed, or as I've got here, crystals and you mix it with water. When you get this stuff there's no instructions and it seems to be you just make it up to whatever strength you need it to be. So I've put some crystals in there with some clean water and I'm applying it with a paintbrush. It seems to be some people use a paintbrush and some people use a cloth so I'm going to try the paintbrush method and you just paint it on and let the wood soak it up and apparently that's all you need to do. We shall see. Doesn't smell of anything so that's nice. I'm not wearing gloves for this because I'm using the paintbrush so my hands aren't getting in it but I think if you were using cloth or a sponge or that sort of thing you should certainly wear something to protect your hands. Oh, that's already working actually. I'm not sure how well it comes through on the camera but these dark spots here are already lifting out so that bodes quite well. I have to leave this for 24 hours overnight so it can dry out and we'll come back and have a look at it in the morning and see how well it's done. I made far too much solution here so I shall dispose of this properly and uh, yeah we'll come back to this later. I could use the oxalic acid on these knobs and get these black marks out. If it's the same thing as was on the top of it it would come straight out. However they're not the most attractive thing and we don't want to fork out to get new draw knobs for this. It gets quite expensive when you need this many. So we're going to use some paint. This paint goes straight on wood no problem for this sort of application and this is a very nice sort of pale greeny grey colour. Wilkinsons don't put names on their paints so I can't tell you what actual colour this is, just that it's one they do. When you're painting make sure you get all of your angles so you go from the sides and the top and work your way around. Don't be tempted to just hold it down and spray. 
you want to do nice sweeping passes. You'll use less paint and get a better finish. Don't try and get it all on your first pass. The wood's quite absorbent, so it will soak up a lot of the paint. So just take your time and go over them a few times until they're covered. I'll have to move you out of the way, so I'll bring you back when these are finished. They turned out quite well. You can still see the wood grain through the paint, that's okay, we don't mind that. But they do look, I don't know, they're missing something. So we had a look in the paint and we have this gold. And to tie this in with some of the other details, I'm going to spray this on from a very, very long way away. So we just get a, a light dusting. And I'm going to go from the top straight down and I'm going to wait for this wind to go away. the enemy of the outdoor painter. There we go. Just a very, very light dusting. Just enough. Rather than trying to clean this paint out of this carving, which is going to take me forever, and pine being as soft as it is, well, it's going to be a bit of a nightmare. Pat and I had a think about design and that sort of business, and we are going to use some Posca paint pens in gold and just paint over the paint that's here. Now the nice thing about these is they paint on pretty much any surface and you can varnish over them, which is exactly what we intend to do. We carry on like that for some time. I shall bring you back when I've finished it. Because A short while later, and that's all done. It's quite subtle, quite nice. The one thing I will change in addition to this is you can see the edges of the carving aren't the sharpest, so I shall go around and hand sand all of that so it's nice and crisp. But that turned out very nicely. Certainly a lot better than the blue paint. I've been very impressed with this oxalic acid. Very first time I've used it. I've seen other channels use this stuff and talk about how good it is. And the water stains have gone. The black marks are little more than just tiny bits of ghosting. And this is still wet, it's not dried yet. It's only been on for a couple of hours. There is one spot there, which I think is oil, but when you look at the piece overall, it doesn't jump out because it's a similar color to the pine itself. I'm not going to worry too much about that little bit there. There's still more work to do on this one. Oh, and I should mention, we've been using this and uh, yeah, when you're doing a project, try and finish it. Don't keep using it because I pulled one of the drawer fronts off by accident and I have to glue that back on. I'm getting to the last bits of preparation here now. The drawers have had all the edges done and I now need to just give these a final sand 
because there's a few spots where some of the old finish and overpaint is still there that I just need to get by hand. Now I've actually got everything cleaned down and tidied, I can see those things. The top of the chest of drawers, I'm really pleased with it. Yes, you can see a small stain there and a small stain there. But that's it, and honestly, when you look at it from this sort of distance, it just looks like the other dark imperfections in the wood. I could give it another coat of oxalic acid. I'm not going to. I'm going to leave it at this. I'm happy with it. Pat's happy with it. So I need to clean this off, give it a final sand, and then that will be ready for paint. Same with the backboard there, which I've just put on so you can see where it sits. For the edges on the drawers and the larger areas, I've been using this bigger pen. These Posca paint pens do come in various sizes. And the drawer knobs are all nicely painted. Sometimes you can see the very faint gold shimmer on them, and sometimes you can't, which is great. But they just needed something to tie them in. So I'm going to give them a little gold collar around the bottom. It just mimics like a little brass finisher or something like that and ties these in a bit more strongly with the other gold details. It's important with the oxalic acid when it's dried off that you wash everything down afterwards. Again I'm just doing what I've seen on other YouTube channels. And of course I'll have to sand this afterwards because using the water will raise the grain of this pine quite a bit. And since this is the top, we want this nice and flat. This also gives you your first look at how this wood's going to look when it's got its finish on. And it's nice that it's not a very orange pine, it's quite a pleasant tone as pine goes. This is just plain water I'm using, filtered because we're in a hard water area. No soap, nothing like that. So making sure I catch any water splatters because I don't want to leave fresh water marks that I then of course have to go back and deal with again. Right, we shall leave that to dry and then come back to it to give it its final sand before finish. Now that everything's all sanded and cleaned down, I'm going to be using some of this stuff, Ron Seal Interior Varnish. We're not sponsored, this is just what I've got. I was going to do this in satin, but unfortunately my tin of satin has gone funny, so gloss it is. If you've not done varnishing before, follow the grain of the wood. Particularly important with a brush, because then if you get any brush strokes in it, they're not as obvious. And the end grain will soak up a lot more material. That needs an hour to dry. When it has, we'll see if it needs a second and third coat. It may. To make my life a bit easier, I screwed the top on. Uh, it'll be fine now, I've got the first coat on. It means there's protection all the way around it, which is good. And we have got all of the draw fronts with their first coat on. One nice thing about these Posca pens is you can just put the varnish straight over the top and they don't run or bleed or do anything strange and that will help protect that even more. Yeah the colour's quite nice on them. Um, I'm not normally the biggest fan of pine but as this is drying I don't mind this at all. Two coats of varnish later and this is nice and dry, feels nice and smooth it's actually come up quite well, that. Same with drawers. 
so it is time to rebuild all of this. This has gone a lot better than I expected it to, I'm quite happy. One thing that this is missing is some little feet. This will just stop the wood from getting damaged on the bottom when it's moved around. Also means if we spill any water on the floor it's not going to soak up straight into the wood on the bottom here. Time to put the draw knobs back on. That stays nice and easy at least. You can just snug them up, don't go crazy with it. And yeah, I think these turned out quite well. Drop it.